Welcome! This video will introduce you to the AgeLine Library Database and provide you with some tips on finding articles using this resource. What is AgeLine? It is a library database of research in the field of social gerontology. That means the articles in this database all pertain to people 50 or older and to issues of aging. How do you search for articles in AgeLine? Well, you can search by author, title, subject, or by keyword, as you would in other databases. And, like other databases, you can use limiters to refine your results. However, AgeLine does not give you the option to limit your results only to peer-reviewed sources, so you've got to use some other strategies to find the best and most credible scholarly sources using this database. Let's take a look. Now I'm in the AgeLine database. Let's say I want to search for scholarly articles on policies relating to aging drivers. I'm not going to use aging in my search because all of the articles in this database should cover issues relating to aging. I do want to search for drivers or driving though, so I'm going to type in the first part of the word with an asterisk. That way I'll get anything like drivers, driver, driving, anything that starts with D-R-I-V. I'm also going to add in the word policy, but I'm going to do the same thing with the asterisk. So this way I get policies or policy or anything that begins the same way. Now let's hit search and see what comes up. I got quite a few articles. Now I want to limit my results. The first thing I can do is limit my search to academic journal articles. I go over here to source types and I click on the box that says academic journals. Remember, in this database you can't limit to only peer-reviewed sources, so you have to try to get peer-reviewed sources another way. You can see that that really limited my results. I lost 200 results by clicking on academic journals only. Another trick you could try is to limit by target audience. To do that, you have to click on Advanced Search. And then you look for the box labeled Target Audience. Within that box, you've got some choices. I'm going to click on Research because I'm looking for academic, peer-reviewed research articles on aging driver policies. But there are other options like general consumer audience, professional or provider audience, or public policy audience. I'm going to click on search and see what I get. Now I've got 129 results. That's a lot fewer. And if you look at source types, you'll see it's gone back to showing me all types of sources. I'm going to click on academic journals again to limit it once more. Now I've got only 53 results. That's going to be a lot easier to sort through. So I'm going to look through these and see what I can find that relates to policy issues regarding aging drivers. It looks like there's quite a few about active aging, about law and policy, about driving risk, and most of these should be academic, peer-reviewed research articles. When you look at the actual articles, you want to make sure that they are scholarly articles because occasionally you'll get something like a letter or something like that that's published in an academic journal, but it's not really a peer-reviewed article. But most of these should be academic peer-reviewed research articles because that is how we limited our search. An example of the type of letter that can fool you initially is this letter to the editor in the Journal of the American Geriatric Society on Alzheimer's and Driving. Because the journal is an academic journal, it still shows up in your search when you limit to academic journal articles only, even though it's not peer-reviewed research. The abstract makes it clear that it's a letter to the editor, though, so just make sure you look at the abstract, too, to verify that what you found really is research. To review, AgeLine is a database you can use to look for research in the field of social gerontology. The database supports keyword searching, but it does not allow you to limit to peer-reviewed sources only. Instead, you can limit your results to academic journals only, and you can also choose to limit to specific target audiences. 
I hope this helped you understand how to use this useful database. If you need help using this or any other library resource, please ask a PSU librarian, either in person at the library or via the library website.